Well, thank you for sharing. That's a great story. Um, Andy, PJ Junior League developmental. Is it uh, Andy Miller? Is it developmental? Is it competitive? Is it a uh, way to bring people in? Um, I would say we we haven't had anybody at the Berkshire ask if their child was too skilled to play in it. So I mean we we've encompassed all of them. Uh, if somebody would say you know I think that my child might be too highly skilled, maybe I want them to play in some individual tournaments instead of playing in this team event. I, I would certainly talk about uh, the All Star host season. Uh, we had the opportunity to host uh, one of the regionals or sub regionals, I guess, at our club, and uh, it was unbelievable watching those kids play at that high level. You know, they're out there hitting it. We we hosted a long drive contest. Actually, Garb uh, was nice enough to donate some prizes for it. And uh, I think the kid that won hit like 263 yards, so it was, it was phenomenal. But it was, it was really fun for us to watch it and watch them make birdies uh, and play at that high level. But at the same time, we've never turned any kids away because maybe they haven't ever played before. So the way that we have it structured is, you know, parents ask me, well, you know, he's never played or she's never played. And we say, you know what, that's fine. Uh, we're going to have some practices leading up to when we start our matches. So we'll do... Uh, you know, a month of practices to get them to where they can at least, uh, you know, have some proficiency chipping, potting. And uh, the really cool thing that is when you sort of mix them together and you see some of the kids that maybe are very highly skilled hit some shots and uh, help out, you know, one of the kids that maybe hasn't played as much golf. Um, but it's really cool to see, you know, even maybe let's say you have somebody who's who's very highly skilled at that age and maybe they miss a five footer or something after stuffing it in there. And then a kid who's just started, you know, last year drains it. I mean, to see that interaction and see them help each other read putts, um, I, I think it really is for everybody. And like these guys were saying, I, I don't, I wish there'd be more PGA golf professionals sitting in these chairs out here so we could kind of shout it a little bit louder at how good the program is. And, and I kind of talked with uh, with some of the guys at the office, but to me, this this program itself could ultimately end up saving the game of golf, in my opinion. Strong statement. Um, and Nick, with that, some incredible growth in the